Hey y'all, it's Tierra Unique, and um, in this video, it's basically gonna be, I guess like a review, kind of, of this hair. I had like a lot, well maybe not a lot, but I had quite a few people um, like on my Instagram and seeing me wear this, and they kind of um, just wanted me to make a video about it. I guess like how I like it, how it's holding up, and um, all that stuff. So yeah this hair is this it's this model model um fresh wand curl and it's 14 inches yeah so this hair it says 14 inches but i don't even on the model it's kind of long and of course it's curly so if you stretch it out it's even longer than that um if you want to get this hair you could cut it in half and to get like twice as much hair I didn't because I wanted the length, but you could do that. Um, and for me, I used, I think it's like three and a half packs just because I wanted mine to be like full and kind of dense. Um, and then I think I separated them in like two pieces because when you separate it, it kind of starts like, it said, I think it says no frizz on here. It says split strands without frizz. I guess I didn't know what I was doing because like towards the end when it's curling up more it kind of just like when you take it apart it's just gonna kind of get yeah so um I just split mine into two and then like towards the front I split them smaller but um it kind of did get a little bit frizzy when I was like taking it apart but um I just whenever I put it in I'll go down like this to try to make it clump back together but even with this hair, I don't think it's bad when it starts getting frizzy. Like, I've had this in for for like three weeks. And I feel like you could um, have it in for a month easily. Or stretch it to even six weeks. Depending on how you take care of it and put your maintenance on it. Like, crochet hair is synthetic. It's, it's going to last as long as it's going to last. Because it's going to get matted. And like with this, it's kind of like webbing up. I haven't cut it like in the past couple days, but I mean, if you want it to last longer and it starts matting up, all you have to do is get like your scissors, get your little scissors, and just start cutting little pieces that's balling up off to help it like look fresh and help it stay bouncy instead of like just clumping all together. I guess people don't be doing that and they be complaining that they crochet braids would last like a week or something. I'm like, bro, did you cut? cut some of the pieces out to make it look fresh oh i didn't know you were supposed to do that i thought you just supposed to lay down and go and just go to sleep no you're not supposed to go to sleep on it you're supposed to like well what i do is um well i usually put it in like a top pony like just a pineapple type thing and then put a scarf like around it um just so i don't be tossing and turning and just getting it like tangled up um, you could get a big bonnet and do it like that. I don't do that. I don't know why I just didn't buy a bonnet. I just use a scarf. I got this done. I did my hair for, um, cause I was going to Orlando. Me and my friend was going to Universal Studios. And, um, her boyfriend is down there. So we was just going and did a little weekend type thing. And, um, yeah, the first couple days I can't remember if it was the first it might be the first full day we was going to the uh pool hotel uh, pool hotel or the hotel pool or whatever and tell me why her boyfriend just he just thought it was funny to just be dunking everybody like he dunks me he dunks her he was just dunking like every but I was like like I came to the pool to look cute to chill sit there but no, you had to play games. I'm not 10. I don't like going underwater like that. I can't even swim. So what's the point? What's the point? I just felt him finna dunk me and I was just like, I'm kind of small. So it's not like I could just easily fight back. But no, so he dunked me, he dunked her. Which her, it didn't really affect her that much because she had box braids. You get box braids wet and they're still box braids. But this, I mean, you get this wet. I had it in for like a week before that. And then it got wet. And I was just like. I was very irritated. 
but um, I was trying to just, yeah, I was irritated. I'm not going to say I was just trying to have fun. I was still irritated because I had it in the top ponytail because that so it just wouldn't get wet. Like if I'm going down to my shoulders, it just wouldn't be just getting wet for nothing. And then when he dunks me, it just got it wet for nothing. And um, yeah, I was just like, bro, do you know how mad in my hair? Do you know how long it's going to take to dry? Cause like I said, it's kind of dense. So like, do you know how long it's going to take to dry? Do you... And I know that it's gonna get mad at because I feel like when you get synthetic hair wet, it just makes it web together easily. That's why I don't put any kind of products in my crochet braids because, like I said, it's synthetic. So it's kind of like synthetic is like a plastic type fiber. So if you put in like oil, conditioner, like when I first do it, I might put mousse in it to help the curls get back together but as far as anything else or i'll oil my scalp but i'm not trying to get any on the hair because i just feel like that'll get it matted up faster just because it's not human hair so it doesn't need any products in my opinion unless it's like an actual sleek wig like a synthetic wig or something you could put something made for synthetic wigs on it to try to bring it back but it's something like this it's kind of temporary you're gonna have it in for like maybe a month some people just keep theirs in for a couple weeks um I don't put anything in it so to have it soaking wet with chlorine and pool water and stuff I was just like he was all just watching it out he was like it's gonna dry I was like <sighs> but anyway so um yeah but I mean it got wet and it's still it's still coming together people be complimenting me on it and stuff so it's not that bad um, like hair like this is really forgiving because once it's curly and then too like this hair um, like the luster or the shine of it isn't like Barbie, Barbie doll hair it's not like uh, that shine super shiny super shiny like synthetic just fake look it looks like you can do your hair like this like it looks like a flexi rod set or something like that where you could actually get your hair like this like it looks like a natural hair texture so it's all it's very forgiving like when even once it get matted and gets a little bit old it still will look good depending on how you wear it like i'm wearing it down right now um usually i'll have it pulled up in some kind of style but it's gonna look decent because it looks like natural hair it doesn't have to look perfect or have to look super straight because it looks like natural hair so yeah that's one reason why i like um like this kind of like i don't want to say marley but like a kind of kinkier texture because it just lasts longer and it's easy to camouflage like the wear and tear because it looks natural so and I feel like big curly hair make me look like a Barbie doll sometimes. So I was really trying to do that look. Um, a little cute look. Um, but yeah, so I ended up liking the hair. And if you, it's your first time getting crochet braids, I would say go with this. Just because it's hard to mess up. In my, like it's, it's just hard to mess up. And then one thing I wanted to do was like do a couple styles and show y'all how I be wearing this. Because like I get bored just wearing my hair just the same as like this is cute but um sometimes different different days calls for different styles so yeah oh yeah how i normally wear my hair i'm about to look in my um closet mirror so i'm turning um and how i normally will wear it when i'm feeling like lazy or like i'm about to go to sleep i can tie it up or i just don't want hair on my neck uh, this is how i wore it when um we was in a pool i was trying to look cute I just basically put all of it up and I was trying to do like a little puff and um, put my little rubber band thing on it like two times and, and fluff it up of course trying to shape it a little bit and this is how I sleep with it. So, yeah. This is how I usually sleep with it. With just like a bandana or a scarf. Around the edges and stuff. Or even if you're going out, you can put a scarf on. People like to cover up the braided part of crochet braids. I don't because I feel like it's crochet braids. It's not a weave. It's not a sewing. So it's kind of like, I don't care too much about disguising a braids. Especially when like this is black like my natural hair so it's like it's not gonna be that noticeable I mean if it is it's braids 
So I don't care too much about like I don't care too much about my braids showing. But if you do want to kind of conceal it or just not have it on display, I would say just put a scarf around and make it look like you're trying to be fashionable and it cover up the braids that you don't want people to see. So yeah, so that's one that's one style. And um we're keeping it in a one ponytail. I I will like just pull it back. Like a low pony. Just pull it. My glasses keep coming down, bro. Pull it back like this. And one thing I will say, that I like to do is like have like a little, I pull out a few little pieces to make it like more romantic and like relaxed. Where it's not like you're just yanking on her back because you're tired of it. It looks like an actual style. So I'll just pull a few pieces out. I might pull the sides out. I'm, I'm gonna put the side. I'm gonna put the side. And then just, just pull it through. Make a little ponytail, bro. Don't be scared. So man, have a little, little bit. And then pull your little ponytail out. Have your little pieces out. And then have your little, have your little girl. Have your little pull back ponytail. So yeah, that's what I like to do when I want to look, um, not arty, but when I want it, don't want it all up on me. I just want to pull back a little bit, and then, so yeah, this is the style I'll be wearing. Basically, all you're going to do for this style is do the front of it, take the front up, and the top, and do the front of it, and then do the front of it, and you're basically going to put it in a ponytail, that's all you're going to do, it's easy. Put the front in a ponytail, fluff it up. idea what this hair is like and I hope you try for yourself um because it's really it's like out of crochet hair this is probably my favorite just because it's flexible but um yeah so try this hair out have fun with it do your styles look cute and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up Subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. And um, until next time, peace out, Girl Scout. Or Boy Scout, you know. I'm open.